Welcome back here to Adelante Chicago. Well, when the pandemic, pandemic started, I should say, there was a fear that 30% of the businesses in many Latino neighborhoods would be forced to shut down permanently. As businesses now start to open up, there is a push to get people spending in many of these communities. One of them is Pilsen. And joining us now is Alex Esparza. He is the executive director for Economic Strategies Development Corporation to tell us a little bit more about a campaign that they have titled Shop Pilsen. Hello to you. Hi, Lourdes. Thank you for having me. Yeah, nice to have you. Nice to talk to you. This is a great project. Uh, it's called Shop Pilsen, and so I assume that you your your focus will be on getting people to not just shop in the neighborhood, but eat in the neighborhood and come visit the great things that Pilsen has to offer. Exactly. I mean, Pilsen has been a vibrant community for the last few years, and you know, I was driving around the other day, and it was crazy that I was able to park in front of one of my favorite restaurants, which is very uncommon or was very uncommon in, uh, 13 months ago. And that kind of just broke my heart because it means there's not a lot of commerce going on. And this whole uh, campaign, Shop Pilsen, is meant to promote the shopping local. Uh, we're used to the, sm the shop small right after Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, businesses can't wait for Thanksgiving time to come uh, back around and, you know, they're, they're fighting for survival. So we really are trying to push a campaign that is all year around. Okay. Uh, you know, at the start of the pandemic and at the start of this segment, I mentioned that uh, there was a fear that 30% of the businesses in places like Pilsen, Little Village, uh, Brighton Park would have to shut down because of the economic impact this pandemic was going to have on them. Have you noticed that being the case or have those numbers changed a little bit? Maybe it has not impacted them the same way that we thought initially. So we did a walkthrough with our businesses. I mean, they're suffering. It's, it's, not, it's not a joke. It, it really is uh, it's crazy numbers of, of, of the sales, the decrease that they are experiencing. One of the other things that we're, we're seeing is also how these big box stores are ranking in, you know, record numbers uh, in sales. So that to me is a huge eye opener because how are we struggling in our community when, you know, those big box businesses are thriving? So it's, it's a creation of awareness, uh, awareness creation for our consumers in our local community. If you invest that money that you bring to your, to your, to your household in our community, we will be more stable. Our community will thrive. Our economic, local economy will thrive. So that's, we're just creating a, 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 something that's already there. It's something that should be already there inside of all of us. Like you mentioned, communities are of color are the ones that have been hit, hit the hardest and we're struggling right now to survive it. but if we all do our part as residents of this community and I'm not just saying shop come and shop only Pilsen I'm saying go out and support your local businesses wherever you're out help the mom and pop shop survive yeah, uh, yeah. And we, we saw a few of the signs that uh, some of the businesses are putting up that say shop Pilsen is is the main thing just getting the message out how else what else can you really do to attract people to these communities and when I say attract people to these communities it's not just going into the store but maybe if you don't feel comfortable going out to the community maybe ordering from a store in that community and having things delivered right yeah I mean this is a this is a positive campaign so our job uh, I've, we've been talking to a lot of the business owners. Our job is to bring the consumer to the business owner. The consumer owner themselves have to, they have a due diligence themselves of being ready and be able to adapt or, or do whatever they have to do to be able to provide the services that these consumers are looking for, whether it's delivering, whether it's providing online services, wh whatever it is. Our, our job as ESBC, as the local engine uh, nonprofit for economy, our job is to bring the consumer. The job of the or the responsibility of the business is to be ready and be able to expand and innovate their services because we're in crazy times right now <laughs> and we have to adapt. Yeah, and they're definitely ready. Okay, I want to shift now to talk a little bit about uh, the COVID numbers. I know uh, Pilsen, Little Village, hit very hard. How are families recovering right now? How are they doing? I know that there's been a huge vaccination effort in those communities. Are people sort of getting the message, listening to the message? Are the vaccines going out? We have a great partnership with Alivio Medical Center and the Pilsen community. They happen to have 
two great clinics here out of the three that they that they have. I know that they have been, you know, pushing out the vaccine as much as we can. We have been doing our own due diligence by uh, aligning the businesses that are ready to go and get their own uh, staff, their their employees vaccinated. So it's, it's, I mean, time is of the essence. I think that we want as, as, as economic uh, uh, driven nonprofit, our job is to try to normalize as much as we can what is happening in our community. So we need people to put their part and go and get vaccinated. If you're allowed to go and get vaccinated, if, if you know of services of where to get vaccinated, go and get vaccinated. That'll help us, you know, get past this hard time right now. All right, you're definitely doing your part. Thank you so much, Alex. We appreciate it. Shop Pilsen. You can find out a little bit more by going to the ESDC website, ESDCChicago.org, or you know what? Just getting in your car one day and driving to Pilsen and getting uh, to know a little bit about some of the shops that are offered there. So thank you so much, Alex. We'll talk to you next time.